Hello! We are learning about the statins today. The statins like Zuvastatin, Simvastatin, Atomvastatin, Bravastatin, and so on. So they all end with the statin, as is obvious from the name. So these medicines are mainly used in the prevention of um, cardiac events or cardiovascular events like um, uh, ischemic stroke or transient ischemic stroke or myocardial infarction or um, any development of atherosclerotic plug in the blood vessels. So cholesterol concentration or high cholesterol concentration or high um, triglyceride concentration associated with the development of um, ischemic um, symptoms. So they reduce the concentration of cholesterol in the blood and then reducing the risk of having um, cardiovascular events. Um, so cholesterol, remember, is synthesized in the liver by a multi-step process it's like a car assembly line. A series of enzymes convert acetyl-CoA to cholesterol and to other um, it's um, a physiological process called the mal malevolinate or malevonic um, um, pathway. So the nutshell is if you could target any of those enzymes to stop the synthesis of cholesterol. So statins target the enzyme um, HMG-CoA or 3-hydroxy-3-methylglutyl-CoA -E to stop the synthesis of cholesterol. They competitively inhibit this enzyme and then basically reduce um, the cholesterol concentration in the blood and then reducing the risk of having um, cardiovascular events. So if there's a liver disease, so it's obvious to um, avoid using statins um, with liver uh, disease or active liver disease or people who consume large amount of alcohol um, then developing fatty liver diseases. Um, as we said, statins are used for hypercholesterolemia, uh, um, which sometimes is genetic, like familial homozygous hypercholesterolemia um, or mixed dyslipidemia, um, which is um, someone who has um, high triglyceride concentration and high cholesterol, or it's also indicated for people who have a high risk of developing cardiovascular diseases like people with type 1 diabetes, people with chronic kidney disease, or people who have a high risk factor a high risk for developing um, a more than 10% risk of developing cardiovascular disease. It's also used for the um, secondary prevention of cardiovascular events like someone who had myocardial inf uh, infarction or someone who has um, peripheral arterial diseases or someone who has had um, ischemic stroke. So the doses um, of statins differ. Sometimes you use um, 40 milligram, 20 milligram, 80 milligram, but dose is reduced if there's a renal disease um, because some of them are even not licensed for using if the, the EFG is less than 60 uh, mil per minute. So you need to check the licensing because uh, it could be unlicensed use or off label use. Um, so as we said, it's varying doses. You see some statin 8 milligram, some statin 8 milligram, or some um, high intensity statins like Rosuvi statin where sometimes 40 milligram is is as a, a high intensity statin. So um, you need to check the dose as well. But remember, statins are used um, because cholesterol is thought to be synthesized during the night. So simvastatin, pravastatin, or fluvastatin is used in the evening, while atovastatin or zuvastatin are long acting, so you, they could be taken at any time. They're also classified as high intensity statins, which are defined as statins which reduce 40% of cholesterol, medium intensity are statins which reduce um, from 30% to 40%, and low intensity statins are those which reduce cholesterol concentration of less than 30%, basically from 20%, uh, from 21% to 30%. So, um, it's in the UK, atorvastatin is the preferred statin for the prevention of both primary and secondary prevention, because um, um, clinical trials have been done on top of statin. It's been observed that it has um, high efficacy and um, less side effect than uh, simple statin. So for primary prevention, it's used usually 20 milligram, and for secondary prevention, it's usually 80 milligram, unless there's um, a comorbidity which um, requires a dose reduction or side effects. So um, we can learn the different um, starting uh, intensities. If you, if you uh, memorize this uh, mnemonic, a tall, 
passing. So basically, the at, the A T is a, it stands for atrophic starting, and and the R for resistive starting. They are mostly high intensity statins because I think there are four um, strengths atrophic starting: 10, 20, 40, and 80. So 80, 40, and 20 all reduce cholesterol concentration of more than 40 percent, and the 10 percent reduce. Um, Th above 30 percent, though it's high intensity mostly, and a simvastatin as well. Simvastatin 80 milligram is high intensity, while the 40 milligram and the 20 milligram is in the medium, and the 10 milligram is low intensity, which is from 21 percent to 30 percent. Pravastatin is all low intensity, um, statin basically. It's even the highest strength, 40 milligram, reduces only. Uh, less than 30 percent and fluvisatin i think is mostly low intensity except the high uh, strength which um, is medium intensity so it has no high intensity so you could remember at all self pastin so then the the mnemonic comes um everyone comes before uh it's high the what the h letter is higher than the one after uh the one that comes after it so the at the r the s the F and the P. So the P is the lowest, the V is the second, S the middle, the R, the reserve satin, and the satin are all high intensity satins. So satins have side effects like uh, muscle diseases, like serious, they are very rare side effects of um, myopathy or rhabdomyolysis, which is basically a breakdown of muscle fibers, which um, could sometimes be fatal. So um, it's, it's very rare, but um, been observed that it could cause these diseases. It also causes uh, diabetes or hyperglycemia, which concentrate increased concentration of glucose in the blood, muscle inflammation like muscle pain, tenderness and weakness, and it could also cause interstitial uh, lung disease, which is um, a serious disease in the liver. Um, so it could be um, it if a patient presents with cough, dyspnea, or breathlessness, then um, you could you could suspect that the patient might have be, might be having um, interstitial lung disease so they need to seek medical attention also if the patient develops any muscular symptoms like pain tenderness or weakness or any change of muscular um, uh, symptoms they need to seek medical attention um, as we said it's very important that hepatic enzymes are monitored before starting treatment and while taking the the, the statin basically if the transaminase um, Enzymes are higher than th the three times than the normal, the upper normal. Then they need to stop the statin, or it could not be started. If a patient has a 48 millimol per liter of uh, glucose when HPA, HP, HbA1c is checked, then it's also um, very important that statins um, could be implicated in development of diabetes, so it needs to be monitored. Um, the creatine kinase, which is a muscle, uh, which is an enzyme, which is present in muscle. So if um, so, um, the urine is basically when the muscle fibers are broken down. Someone with rhabdomyolysis is a uh, urine changed into this dark colored urine. So um, it's also if it's five times the upper limit, then there's a risk, high risk of uh, muscle diseases. So they need to stop the the statin, or if someone has um, a family history of, of rhabdomyolysis or muscle disease or muscle weaknesses, so they might um, need to change to another um, lipid lowering uh, drugs. So it's also important that um, hypothyroidism is corrected, or if someone develops hypothyroidism while taking a statin, that um, the hypothyroidism is treated. Um, promptly because it's implicated with the development of muscle tox toxicity if someone is start, uh, taking statin and they develop hypothyroidism or the hypothyroidism itself could be causing high concentration of lipids in the, in the blood like in the high um, triglyceride concentration or high cholesterol concentration so if the hypothyroidism is corrected it might just um, be enough the statin might not be needed so um, bear this in mind um, as we said it increases the muscle toxicity so it needs monitoring before treatment and um, and after t um, starting starting it's also important that um, statins are avoided in pregnancy because they are teratogenic causing anomalies um, in babies um, 
also avoid in liver failure. Uh, the if the hepatic enzymes are more than three times the upper limit, as we said, the zubistatin avoid in Asian patients because the con it's been observed that patients from Asian origin, like uh, Japanese, Chinese, Fili uh, Filipino, uh, and also patients from uh, the of a uh, Indian origin, the concentration of zubistatin is increased by more than twofold or 1.5 fold so they might experience muscle symptoms or um, so it's very important that um, you keep that in mind um, it's also important that potent enzyme inhibitors like uh, antibiotic macrolides the protease inhibitors the HIV protease inhibitors calcium channel blockers um, triazoles and imidazoles um, antifungals basically cyclosporine Grapefruit, St. John's wort are not used with statin because St. John's wort, as you remember, is an enzyme inducer, so it might um, reduce the effect of statins by not reducing the concentration of um, cholesterol. And these are inhibitors, so basically they increase the risk of um, getting uh, muscle toxicity. So if a patient needs antibiotic, you might stop treatment with statin for like 14 days or 7 days, and then restart the statin after the after finishing the course of antibiotic, or you might need to reduce of dose for cyclosporine. I think you, maximum dose is for 10 milligram of um, atorvastatin if you are taking cyclosporine, and also if you are taking simvastatin, you might reduce the dose to 20 milligram if you are taking calcium channel blockers like um, uh, verapamil or amlodipine. Um, so you need to check that. You um, also need to be careful with uh, p alcohol. Alcoholic patients, patients who consume large amounts of alcohol because they have a um, higher risk of developing muscle toxicity and also the use of fusidic acid should be avoided or the statin is stopped before 7 days and then after 7 days um, of finishing fusidic acid. Also fibrates, especially uh, uh, frobazil and nicotinic acid. So um, as you see, there is large... Um, there are large medicine. Many medicines that interact with statin, so you might... Um, think of stopping it temporarily and then starting after finishing the course um, as we said because the risk of toxicity is increased in these patients